Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Happy second Sunday of Advent. Um, I'm going to share our little brief Advent message again today. Last week, we talked about hope. I hope that during the week, you reflected on that in all the ways that you could. You either looked up scriptures or prayed about it or asked the Lord to give you some hope, whatever it might have been. Um, but uh, let's, I'll light that candle, our hope candle. Today, I'm going to just very briefly talk about peace. There we go. So I'll light the peace candle. Okay. All right. Um, this past week has been a time of unrest and anguish for our community, as we all know. Um, so we need the peace of God more than ever before. And not simple peace, right? We know of God's shalom peace, and we could translate that into English terminology, which loosely means um, lack of war or conflict. But the full shalom of God not only includes those words, lack of war and conflict, but it means wholeness and well-being. So that's the kind of peace that we're looking for. We need to look toward the manger, which I've said before, leads us to the cross. Isaiah 9, 6 through 7a says, For a child is born to us, a son is given to us. The government will rest on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His government and its peace will never end. Micah 5.5 5 tells us, and he will be the source of peace. Christ came to usher in a new era uh, from the manger to his sacrifice for us on the cross so that by faith we have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ our Lord has, has done for us. Romans 5.1 Jesus tells us in John 14, 27, I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. Philippians 4, 7 says, then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything you can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Not only are we to embrace and live in God's peace, we are to work for it while we are in this world. Matthew 5, 9 tells us that God blesses those who work for peace, for they will be called the children of God. May the Lord help us to actually work for peace and help bring God's shalom to the hurting world around us. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your fullness of peace that makes us well and is full. It's everything that we can never even think of or imagine. We love you so much and we thank you that you love us back. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> 